Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about these super cute spring twists I did. I actually didn't do this using the typical spring twist hair. Um, I bought this hair from a place called Runway Curls. So this is how it came packaged in this super cute gold box. And inside it has like the gift wrap paper and I got two bundles of hair. So this is basically a bundle. I took like a tiny bit off of it just to complete this style because I bought two bundles. But to do this entire style, I used basically one bundle and like, I don't know, this much of this other bundle. So it all comes as wefted hair. That means it's like stitched on to the top here. Like you could use it to make a wig or weave. Um, so I had to cut it off with the scissors and then separate the curls. So you literally just unravel it and cut the curls off with the scissors like this. So very simple to do, very straightforward. So it has this cute ribbon on and it tells you the name and the color. And this color is the Caramel Ombre. And this is how it looks. So it's kind of... So now I'm going to be moving on to moisturizing my hair and I'm going to be using my Soul Tanicals Napalicious Hairspray, my Soul Tanicals Not Butter, my Melanin Hair Care Cream and some other products. I'll list them on the screen and then I'm going to start separating my hair into smaller sections. So I use one piece of hair per section. I just separate it and then crisscross it at the top so as to lengthen it. But be sure to remove that tiny piece of hair that's left over from the wefts when you cut the hair off. I also like adding a little bit of moisture to my fake hairs just so it blends better with my hair and it's also soft as well so it isn't sucking moisture out of my own hair. So to start the twist I'm going to be braiding the first inch or so and then I will do a standard rope twist all the way down. And it's very easy to do this twist you're just going to separate your own hair between those two pieces of the fake hair and just twist as usual. So now I'm just going to repeat this and like I said just remember to take off that tiny piece of hair that's stuck at the top once you take the hair off the weft, separate your strand of hair, crisscross it just to lengthen the hair and that's the part that's going to go right at your roots. Then I just apply my product and I put it over my own hair, braid down an inch and twist. ends can get a little stringy so just clip right at the very end and I didn't have to put this in any hot water or anything to seal it because the hair is so kinky it will not unravel.
ones I have about this here is that it's so short that I had to double the pieces to get it to this length. Just about at my breasts. I wish it came in a longer size so I didn't have to double the hair. So it took me so many hours. It's probably... I want to say it's like about 12 or 13 hours and I did this over the course of about four days because I've been doing my hair from Thursday and today is Monday night actually it's Tuesday morning because it's two o'clock in the morning it was really time-consuming because like I said I never ever do my hair this small um, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this in because I always take out the hair so fast like that passion twist hair. I barely kept it in I, I don't even think I made it to two weeks. So this is how it looks up in a ponytail It doesn't feel like it's hurting my scalp. It doesn't make my hair feel tender or anything And it's just it's probably oh my god I know I say this all but it feels like it's my favorite style ever. They're here sorrel napilicious kink drink so I used this to refresh my hair because like I said I was doing it over the course of a few days so obviously my hair would get dry so I used this to refresh my hair once it got dry and I did not start on blow dry hair it was just straight out of the shower it's a sultanicals can't believe it's not butter and it smells fantastic just like every other sultanicals product it kind of smells like cake butter after I use the can't believe it's not butter I followed with the straight butter heavy sealing hair butter and this is pretty good. Now I want to take a quick second just to rave about this oil. You see how much is gone. I've been using this oil since I did that melanin hair care video some time ago. And I absolutely love this oil. I don't know what Whitney put in it. But I've never used an oil that feels like it has slipped. And that's how this oil felt like. I am blown away. I love it. And if I put it on my dry hair, it gives my hair slip. It makes my hair feel moisturized. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it's, it's, it's just a fantastic oil. So the final product that I used is obviously Edge Control. So I was using this Soul Tanicals Barbie Bling Edge Control Tings. Um, laying it down for the crown Edge Control. What a long name. But let me tell you, it smells so good it smells amazing oh my god I absolutely love it however I used it until it was completely done so for this section I had to grab something else and that was the curls blueberry bliss edge control I've been using this for years I actually forgot about it I came across it on my shelf just now I feel so bad I have way too many products and it did such a good job so any of these two edge controls I highly recommend them and this is the curls blueberry bliss curl control paste and of course you can also comment down below and let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you just like to know about this hair definitely sound off below if you're new around here please hit that subscribe button you've already watched the video all the way to the end if you found it useful definitely give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you aren't following me on instagram as yet definitely do so at nk naturals thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one